Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this video for you that is a recreation of the makeup that I wore in my previous video, which was my beauty haul. It is just a basic halo eye with pink lips, so if you're interested in seeing how to do it, then just keep watching. So starting off with primer, now if you are seeing the wonderful pimples on my chin right now, I am not appreciate, I do not appreciate Aunt Flo coming in town. So right now I'm using a green primer and this one is by number seven. It is the Color Calming Primer. I purchased it ages ago, like ages and ages and ages ago um, and it just counteracts any kind of redness and then I'm just using my favorite Lumia Magique Primer just to give me a nice healthy glow and I'm mixing two foundations today because I don't have a foundation in between this color so I'm mixing the Rimmel Match Perfection and this is a really really dark color and I'm also mixing it with my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation as well I'll have all the names of the colors of foundations that I'm using listed in the down bar and I'm buffing it in with a buffing brush and then also going in with the Chi Chi um, like blending sponge and just tapping that in. Now for a little bit of highlighter and also underneath the eye concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color light. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes and to also balance that out, I'm going to put it on the high points of my face and also around my mouth just to balance out that highlight color. Now to set the under eye area and also the highlighted areas, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent or Transparent, I think it's called. This I'm just gonna, but I'm just going to pat it on using a Real Techniques Expert face brush all over my face where I have done highlight, and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder in the color beige, and this is a little bit darker than the Translucent Powder, so I'm going to put this all over the rest of my face where I want it to be a little bit darker. So to bronze up the face, I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, it's the highlight and what is this? This is the contour and blush kit. Um, and I'm using the color Saint Lucia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to be using the bronzer all over the face. So just basically where I usually bronze and then I'm going to be using a different powder to contour. But just using this all over the face as my bronzer and taking that blush shade in the palette just on the cheeks and just blending it backwards. Now to contour my cheeks, I am going to be using the Astralis AC on Tour Contour Kit and I'm just taking that bottom middle shade just to contour my cheeks a little bit. This is the best shade to use out of the whole entire kit. It's the most grey toned and it doesn't look too muddy or anything so just blend that out really, really well. Now can you guys see the gigantic hole in the middle of my MAC favorite highlighter this is the soft and gentle highlighter obviously I love it because you guys saw how big of a hole I have I've totally hit pan it is unbelievably depressing but I'm just going to highlight my face and just moving on to the eyes I've done my eyebrows everything that I'm using is listed down in the description box but today I'm using the Chi Chi Mocha's palette which is their newest palette and I'm taking this matte transition shade and then going in with a more warmer tone brown and I'm going to put this basically on the outer edge and also on the inner corner as well just to start that halo effect and then going in with a darker shade this is more of a cool tone brown and I'm just going to repeat that same step basically putting it exactly where I put that lighter brown this is just going to make it a lot easier to blend them all together um, when they are completely finished so just going in with that color next to the darker brown and this is a more warm tone shimmery brown and this is going to go just on that same same section and I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend away any harsh edges so to start off the middle of the halo eye I'm just going to be taking this cranberry uh, this cranberry color and this is going to go on the center of the eye and I'm just going to blend out the edges just a little bit and then I'm also going to go in with this lighter color here which is just on the very end of the right hand of the palette and this is just going to go on top of that cranberry color and this is going to give it a really nice pinky kind of tone and I'm just going to quickly do the lower lash line while I'm at it and I'm using that same cranberry color that I use just for the middle of the eye so just blend that out really well yeah. 
So I'm going to take the first color on the left hand side of the palette and this is a really nice yellow toned um, kind of shimmery white shade. I'm just going to use this as my inner corner highlight and also my brow bone highlight. It has a really pretty shimmery effect so it looks really nice as my highlight color. And then for a little bit of mascara I've put some um, glue on my eyelashes already just so they'll be ready for me when my eyelashes are done with mascara. I'm just going to be using this CoverGirl mascara. I think it's the flamed out mascara. Just a really quick coat of that and then popping on my lashes and the lashes that I'm using today are purchased from Miss Shop A and these are the Cara lashes in Wispies and I'm just going to pop that on and uh, just pinch those together and lashes are good to go. Now moving on to my lips, I'm using a combination of products today and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is outlining my lips with one of my favorite lip liners and this one is by Rimmel and it is their lip liner in the color East and Snob and this is a really nice rosy kind of pink shade, just outlining my lips with those and then going in with the most amazing lipstick ever, this one is by BH Cosmetics, it is their color lock um, lipstick in the color Charming, it is the most stunning baby pink color, it is so beautiful I absolutely love it and it dries to a complete matte finish but I'm not usually one to rock the matte lips so I'm gonna be going over it with a gloss this one is by gorgeous cosmetics and it is just their clear gloss so that guys completes this look I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys